Are you receiving information in a form in SmartSuite, but you need it to go to multiple apps? Let's give an example. Let's say you have on a form where you're asking somebody what account they are, what company they work for, but also their personal information. Well, these are two different sets of data. The company they work for, that's its own application. And then the information, the personal information, that's a totally different application as well. So how can you take one form and parse that data appropriately across two different applications or more? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth. I'm the owner here at Gap Consulting, and we make it our mission to help you get organized and automated with no-code tools. If that's of interest and you wanna learn more about no-code tools, you can check out our website. Our links will be below in the description of this video. But before we get into the heart of things, I want to invite you to follow along with me here inside of SmartSuite. I'm gonna be building inside of a solution and you can go step-by-step step with me if you open up your SmartSuite account. And if you don't already have a SmartSuite account, strongly recommend using our link below. Number one, it's a great way for you to show some love back to the channel, but also, and more importantly, number two, you will be eligible to apply for some exclusive SmartSuite swag if you upgrade to a paid plan in the future. That swag is only available to our audience, so don't miss out on your opportunity and check out that link below. Now, without further ado, let's hop on into the heart of the video, and we're gonna jump right into my screen and get started. Now I've set this up right now, I'm in Sales CRM. This is a template that you can start using if you go to the template section, the library inside of SmartSuite and just get started. That way you can follow along here as well. So the two things I wanna focus on are I have accounts and I have contacts. Now for us, accounts basically are the companies, right? So we have the company name here, company website, other information about the company itself. Now if we flip over into another app, we have our contacts. Now, of course, this is a different app. The contacts is gonna store data related to individuals. That data then relates to accounts. So there's a linked relationship. You can see here, for example, here's Gareth Pronovost, myself. I'm a contact in this database, but I'm connected to the account for Gap Consulting. So let's imagine that you wanted to build a form that's asking for all this information in one place. You wanna know the account information and the contact information. Well, can you do this in SmartSuite? You might originally think no. And the reason behind that would be whenever you build a form in SmartSuite, it is going to, by default, create a new record in one application. So here we need to create records in more than one application. How can we possibly do that? Well, we're gonna break it down step-by-step step using another application and a fancy automation. So let's go ahead and create a new application here. I'm gonna add a new app to my solution. I'm gonna call this app Form Submissions. Now inside of this app, I'm going to ask all the different questions that I need for this particular form. Let's start out by first hiding all of the other noise that I don't need. I don't need to see the assigned to, the comments, any of these things. Go ahead and hide them all. All I need is this title right here. Let's call this one Test One. So what other information am I gonna collect in my form? Well, I need to know the account name or the company name. Let's go ahead and enter some text here. So we're gonna use a text field and we're gonna name it company. I also wanna know the company website. So for this, I can use a URL field type. Once my company field saves, I'll create a new field and I'll use a link and I'm using just a link here and I will call this company URL. Let's go ahead and add this field. Let's imagine that those are the only two fields that we need to know for the company. But now we need to know some personal information as well. What's the first and last name of the person filling out the form and what's their email? Well, we can collect that here as well. Notice that we're doing it in the exact same application here. I'm in my form submissions and I'm still building out new fields. Here's my full name and I'll add one more. This is gonna be the email field and we'll add this. Now again, I wanna point out that the first two pieces of information that we're collecting, the company and the company URL, this pertains to the account application. The next piece here is the full name and the email. These two fields pertain to the contacts application. Now I also need to come up with a title here. 
So let me just go ahead and say, uh, I'll just grab the company name. I'll auto-generate this, say, yes, I understand. And I'll start with the company here. And I will add to this a space, a dash, a space. And then lastly, I will add the full name field as well. So what's this gonna look like? Well, when we update this, let's go ahead and fill this information out. I'll fill it out for myself. Gap Consulting, here's my website. Here's my name. And lastly, my email address. Now that I have all the pieces of information, we see that the title automatically fills out. The title of this record is Gap Consulting, Gareth Bronovost. So we're pulling both the company and the full name here to create the title of the record. All right, now that we have the information in place, the fields that we need, we can now move on and create a form. So this is gonna be a new view type. I'm gonna create a new view and add a form, and I'll just call this form. I'm not gonna to get too fancy, and we'll create this new view. Now this form needs to include those four pieces of information. I don't care about the title of the record because it's gonna be auto-generated. What I do care about is the company information, the company URL, the full name, and the email field. Now you can see that as I added those pieces, they got added to our form. I can dress our form up, I can add a title, add a description, change out the logo, but for the sake of this example, I'm gonna skip those things because they're more cosmetic and I wanna look at the heart and soul, the way that this thing actually works in the background. So here I have my form, and if I go up to share this form, this now gives me the shareable link or the embed code so that I can put this on a website. Let's go ahead and just open up this form. This is now a live active form, and I can fill this out. Maybe Acme, acme.com, first name, John Smith, john at example, Dot com. Now, when I submit this information, as I said, this is a live form. So we can go back into our Smart Suite account now and exit the form view, go back to our grid view, and we're gonna see that that record for John Smith that I just created was automatically added to this new app. So now for the magic. Now we can build an automation that takes this information, finds or creates a new record in our accounts application, finds or creates a new record in our contacts application, and then links them together. So let's get started. In order to do this, we're gonna go up to the solution itself and scroll on down to automations. We're gonna build our first automation here by adding an automation. And we are going to say that when a form is submitted, now of course this is going to pertain to the form that we just set up. So the application is our new app called Form Submissions, and the form, well, we weren't very creative. It's just called Form. So when a new form is submitted through that form view, then we want to do the following. First, we want to create a record in our accounts. So I select create a record here, and I want to create this not inside of my form submissions app. I want to create a new account because that information was filled out. What am I gonna fill out in my accounts? Well, I've got a couple of things. Number one is going to be the name of the account. So I can file in that account name. Now, what do I wanna call this account? Well, that information was provided inside of the form. So I can access that field from the trigger. I can say right here, bring in data from the trigger. What data? Well, we got the company name in our form and I wanna use that company name and create the account name with it. Now, the next piece is I wanna add the company URL. Well, what did we call that? We click here and add the field, we can find the company website. What are we bringing in for this company website? Well, in the fields from the trigger, we were provided with the company URL. I can plug that in here. So again, this company URL came from the form and we are going to add it to the field in our accounts application that's called company website. Now that's it for the first step, but we're not done. Now we need to add another action where we create the other record in the other app. In this case, we want to create a record inside of our contacts app. So from here, I will select the solution and again, the right app. Here's the contacts app. And I need to add a few things in this case. Number one, I have to add the name of the person. So where's the name? We can find it here. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and bring in the name that came from our form. So again, I'm in fields from trigger and I'm looking for the full name here it is, 
I can plug it in right here. So I'm adding the name that we received in the form and I'm gonna add that name into the account name field. Now I also wanna add the email address. So let's go ahead and find that email address inside of our contacts app and plug it in here. Now what value do we wanna fill in there? Well, that's the email that we received in our form. So fields from trigger, plug in email address. Now the one last piece we wanna to connect to here is the other account that we just created in the previous step. We need to link this contact to the account that all came in from that one form submission. So let's go ahead and add that field as well. Here's that link to the account app. I'm gonna bring this in here. And what I can use here from the trigger is actually the name that we assigned to the account. So if you recall, when we created the account name, we used the company. So I can plug that in here, and that's going to know that because we already created an account with this title, whatever this company name is, well then we're going to be able to appropriately link that account to this person in our two different apps. Let's go ahead and add this automation and see if it works as planned. We'll have to switch it on, and I highly recommend also naming your automations so that you don't get confused with them in the future. As you can see, I'm already setting a bad example here. I've got two different example automations and I don't know which one does what because I haven't done the proper thing and named them properly. So let's go ahead and X out of here and we're gonna fill out our application again here, our submission. We're going to go back to our form view and we are going to share that view again and open up the form itself. Now let's also go back to our smart suite and check our accounts here. Right now, I have my accounts ranked, and you'll notice that at the top I have a and Industries, but we don't see Acme Industries anywhere. So let's fill out this form again on behalf of John Smith from Acme and see if the automation works the way we planned. So back to the form we go. We're gonna fill it out one more time for Acme. Company URL, whatever that is. This is being filled out on behalf of John Smith, and his email is john at test.com. Once we get this information, we submit. Go back over here to watch and see what happens. Inside of our accounts, within just a few moments, we should see a new account get added via the automation. If I flip back into form submissions, we're going to go into our grid view and we can see that the new record was added from the test that I just ran on the form. This should then trigger the automation to pick that up and create some new information here. Now, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen, I'm gonna see the most recently added account because I don't have any kind of sorting on these. They're not in alphabetical order. So the most recent one is added to the bottom. You can see that it properly showed up with the account name of Acme and with the company website, acme.com. Now, the second part, the second test, is to flip into contacts and see if we can find John Smith. And there he is, a new record created for John Smith with the email john at test.com, which is what I just entered into the form. And most importantly, John is properly linked to the Acme account. And this was possible because of the fact that we created that record in the account application, we named it Acme, and then the automation knew that we wanted John to be connected to that particular record. I know we went fast in this video and there's a lot to unpack here, but this is how you can natively, inside of SmartSuite, use one form but send information to multiple applications and get them all talking and linked up properly. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on future content just like this. And in the meantime, keep on building. Are you trying to receive, start this again. What did we call that? I honestly don't know, so give me a second. <laughs>